in 1 John 1, it says this in verse 4, We are writing these things to you because we want to release uh, to you our fullness of joy. We are writing these things to you because we want to release to you our fullness of joy. Sometimes some days are not necessarily so full of joy. They feel like a bit grey and, and gloomy and, and uh, dark and cold. Um, but there's a joy that God wants to bring into our lives and a hope and a sense of uh, his glory and purpose. Even on a day like this, um, it might feel like there's lots of greyness in the sky, but we've just been commenting how it, the different kind of shades of mauve and, and uh, dark greys and different colours, you know, how those come out of the landscape. It's, it depends what you're looking for sometimes. So. My prayer today is that we look for God's joy in circumstances, that we'll see the release of his joy in our situations, that we'll find uh, that in his uh, providence, in his grace, even in a gloomy day, even in the dark days, even in the slightly, uh, you know, days that feel a bit in between and not one thing or the other, the days that we feel perhaps a bit discouraged or depressed, the days that we feel like the sun isn't shining brightly and it's not all going wonderful and it's not all sort of hunky-dory but in those days that God's joy will be released in our lives too uh, that his purpose and his faithfulness will be released in every day whether it's a grey day or it's a beautiful day in our eyes that doesn't matter um, let God's joy come in and, and fill you and fill your heart and mind right now and uh, just enjoying this uh, lovely view of the Seven Estuary at Clevedon, so um, be a little bit of a scan round, uh, enjoying the day as it comes to me today. So may God's joy fill your day too.